Hey guys, Dr. Brown again with Kubo Math coming to you from Tarlock City, Philippines. And tonight, I know you can't wait, but it's another one of these crazy problems that I've been throwing out here lately. It, many people are reading them and commenting, so I'm, I'll keep throwing a few more out there. So tonight, it's we need we have the number uh, D zero H divided by AB and it equals CD and we're trying to solve for A, B, C, D and H. <laughs> Is that not crazy? Okay, let's as we normally do, let's walk through the process of, since we have the answers here, let's walk through the process of multiplying this and see if we can solve for each variable. C times B would give me this 6. So C times B equals 6. That's our first clue. Okay, we would write that 6 down. Then C times A gives me C. Oh, C times A equals C. Well, what do you think A is equal to? A equals 1. Wow, because C times 1 equals C. So we have our first clue here. A equals 1. We'll just write that right here. A equals 1. All right. So now we have this C6. 6. six from 10, for, or from 0, we would have to borrow 1 to make that a 10, so this would be D minus 1, right? 10 minus 6 is 4. Hey, hey, D seems to equal 4. So we have a 4, 4, and a 4. And C was, well, we don't know C yet, right? No, we don't know C yet. All right. So C time B is 6. C time A is C, so A is 1. D has to be 4 because we borrowed a 1. We have a D minus 1 minus C equals 0. So D minus 1 equals C. So D must be 4. Okay. Now then, we, we, we finished here. We would have this D. We would bring the H down. Okay, we have the H there. Okay. I've got to cough. Hang on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a cold. Okay. Where were we? We had we brought the H down. Now then, where did where did this DH come from? We had D times B is H. So, well, that's another clue. D times B equals H. Okay. And we know D minus. We're well, go back to this C here we're going to need that in a minute for B. We had determined D was 4. Okay, so D minus 1 would get, if D is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus 3 equals 0. So we know C is 3. So now I have 3 times B equals 6. Okay, 3 B, I'll use a dot for multiplication, equals 6. If I divide both sides by 3, 3 divided by 3, 6 divided by 3, so 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times B is B, and that equals 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So now I have B equals 2, and C equals 3, all right. Now then, since we know B is equal to 2, 
D times B gives me H. What was D? It was 4. 4 times B, which was 2, equals 8. So H equals 8. And C was 3. So now then, let's rewrite that and see if we can make it all work out. So we have A, B, so we have 1, 2, 1, 2, divided into D, which was 4, 0, H, which was 8, and that's supposed to equal C, which was 3, 3, 34. All right, 3 times, well, 12, 24, 36. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract that, it gives me 48. Hey, hey, 48 or it gives me 4, bring down the 8. Now then, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 48 minus 48 is 0. So D0H divided by AB equals CD. All right, guys, why are we doing this? Together we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. Keep studying, guys. Keep working all these crazy problems and expand your mind. That's all for now. Talk to you next time. Thanks.